Here we go, Monday morning again, the M25's bollocksed, uh, car overturned and say it the other way. Oh, and I'm not even on it, but nothing's moving. Trouble is it, something happens here, I'm on junction 25 and it's, it's, there's always a problem here. Um, people just can't get on or off it and this is it, gridlock. Oh, I don't know. Monday and if I'm not turning around and going home but better make the effort well we got here hour and a half to do a 20 minute journey poxy m25 shut both ways car turned over or something uh well I'm back here it's pissing down the rain so we didn't go to the garage job um I'm back on the uh on the gable ends and bits and pieces so I'm just going to get this bit of block work up now Try to tidy the ends up a bit, it's fucking all over the place. And then we jump out there and finish that pointy bit off. Um, luckily, the uh, the builder came in the weekend and uh, helped me out, done a bit of insulation for me, which was nice. Saves me having to do it. That's the way, isn't it? That saved me loads of time, that is. Well, let's get this up and then jump outside. I'm getting a bit claustrophobic in here. See you in a while gable problems um, have a look at that can you see that at the bottom I've got 65 mil gap from the end of that ladder like the inside and at the top I've got 15 okay so there's, there's 50 mil out now there's two things could be wrong here either my brickwork is 50 mil out of plumb all oh, these roof trusses are 50 mil out of plumb, or roof rafters are out of plumb. I put a level up it yesterday when we noticed it at my work, but I knew it was right because I put the profiles up where you ran it's plumb. And yeah, it, it's okay. But to proper check it, I hung a plumb bob down. Uh, and that can't be wrong. So let me just show you. We say, I've got, I've got 60 mil there, all right? Let's go down and see what we've got at the bottom. So, I've got here, I don't know, depends where you put it really, 63 mil, 60, maybe 65 mil, that's touching there, let me just move that, let's go there. We're between 60 and 65 if it's swinging, so Oh, I'm two and a half mil out from the top to the bottom. So that means these rafters are out of plumb. Um, and it's so important when you're putting the roof up to get that bit right. Um, that's why you get these problems on site with uh, these trusses and the faces and that. They put these faces and softies, uh, as I said before, up the ladder and it don't fit the brickwork. And there's nothing wrong with the ladder. The ladder's the right measurement. It's because the trusses not been put in plumb which is bad really because there's enough members and bits and pieces on the truss to you know to even put a four foot level up on it but a six foot level up you should get it right really but they don't and that's the problem um it's a bit more difficult with rafters this long but yeah there, there is a way of doing it and it, it should be right and um, now this ladder's got to come off russell's going to take it off and redo it again because it can't be left like that um yeah, one of the things, and like I said uh, in the last video, um, how we used to do it is cut this in first, and then the chippy would come along, and then uh, he'd put his ladder in afterwards, and he'd measure off the brickwork if he'd done that, so it'd be right. So if, even if he's cocked up on the rafters or the trusses, uh, he can correct it, and that's what should happen. You know, we all there's always mistakes made, don't we? If you can get over it, but now someone else has got to get over it. Whoever done the roof has gone. Um, I don't know who done it, but. Yeah, you know, that's the way it is. Um, plumb bobs. I don't know if anyone's ever used these. I mean, not, my dad was a painter and decorator and he used one all the time um, for setting out for his wallpaper. Um, you won't get a truer uh, measurement than that. If you go uh, up in Spain, places like that, they put the superstructure up first and then you see them on every corner on a bit of wire, there's just a brick hanging down and that just to give them their plumb line. Um, so it's right from top to bottom. 
where does the word come from plum we keep our work plum don't we um, it's Latin and plum means lead and the original plum bobs which you still get now I suppose um, a lot of round conical thing with a point on it made from lead uh, with a point on it so you could drop it right down to a point and mark it and you knew it was right um, so yeah plum lead plum bob um, keep it plum uh, and that's hence the word uh, where the word plumber comes from because years ago you know in Roman times and that all, all the pipes were made from lead so yeah plum plumber plum uh, right that's the only part of it I've got so much ag on this job now and I've got work stacking up um, people want me to do uh, they'd have to wait wouldn't they right see you in a while now my next bit of egg oh I'm glad I'm going somewhere else tomorrow getting right on my tits this job right I've got to um, take this up five course up to the soffit which is there so I've got two course of these to go through there Right way through both sides in between these poxy rafters. Uh, oh, let me just show you. Got these lintels in, got them, wrong ones, but they're going to be cut and put in. Um, these are the uh, other things we use on timber frames. Uh, we've got trays just tacked up, ready to go in, just to keep the building inspector happy. Oh, all you do is hit your head here, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's about it, and I've got a big one to go in there. Someone asked me about, said, mentioned about these uh, working around these scaffolds, and hit your head on, oh, Russell's on the cutter, hit your head on clips and things like that. These are a pain in the ass, the cutlings, and often if they're sort of this side, like, you end up whacking your elbow with them, um, which is no fun. So I said I had a little story, a good few years ago I was on a job, and I cracked my head on a double clip quite bad uh, and took a great big gouge out of my head and the powers of me said oh, I've got to go to the hospital but there's nothing they can do is it it's just a lump out of your head but it was a lot of blood anyway I went out there they sort of cleaned it up patched it up and uh, I came back and there was a crow sat on the scaffold eating the bit of skull what I'd left on the clip charming eh <laughs> That's the other thing I was going to say, I, was, I mentioned yesterday um, about closing the cavities and this is a good example of how we used to close all the cavities, I was closed off to seal them. Um, then that also gives it extra strength because you have the plate there and the roof sitting on it and that, so now the load just goes on the inside skin isn't it, like it is here, I don't know what this is about, they've built this on the plate, um, but yeah so you know the load is normally just on the inside skin but with this it transfers a bit of it onto the outside skin as well so it's much more robust you don't get that now do you but then a lot of it's trusses now and it with a truss that the the, uh, the thrust is down um, whereas with these pitch roofs um, the thrust is is out but, uh, yeah thought I'd show you that what are you at Russ? pub why are we getting rained off when we've got a cover on uh, Pass. Inadequate cover, scaffolding, shit in fact. Well, they've, uh, they've cut the sheet and they've cut the tin roof a bit short when they've gone there with the handy grind around and they've neglected putting the fucking guttering up. Yeah. So, it's, uh, absolutely no point no. in this roof at the moment. And it's not even blowing this way. It's blowing no, the it's blowing the other way. way. Jesus. Oh, here we go again. More traffic on my way home. The extinction rebel, whatever they fucking called, um, glued themselves up along the M25 again. So nothing's moving. M25 shut, and I've got to get to the pub. Well, I'm not impressed. Yeah, we got rained off today, believe it or not, with a tin roof on it. Well, we've got, we've got the day in, but yeah. Scaffolders, they can't even put a tin roof in right, can they? No overhang or anything, everything's just running onto the scaffold. Oh dear. Anyway, we're doing the garage tomorrow. It's not going to rain. Hopefully there's no problems here. See you in the morning.
Uji Berlin Brawl Haha, <laughs> oh well, um, I built this um, I didn't film it because I just don't had time, they dumped me here on my own um, I had a labour for a couple of hours yesterday but uh, I've been on my own, I've had to knock my own muck up and load out and oh you know what it's like so yeah I ain't filmed it anyway that's that one out of the way oh, right back on the uh, on the gables tomorrow and all that other aggro yeah see you there morning we're back here um Russell sorted this out you can see up there all the ladders right I suppose there's going to be a difference between there and the dormer from top to bottom but like the as long as this uh, verge is right, the cut into there won't notice, I suppose, but anyway, that's not my problem. Uh, we set this out dry. It worked out really well, actually. Um, I've got a little bit of quarter bond here. And then through here, we're right quite way along. Oh, I'm happy with that. Now I've got it in my hands and knees and build the poxy thing, smashing me at the bits. Uh, yeah, that like, job the last couple of days, I've got no help there. Um, didn't bother filming it, as I said, it's just, uh, you just want to get it done, didn't you, sometimes when you're on your own. But anyway, it got done. Um, right, we'll just get on with this. It's Friday, we might get off day Friday. I'm only going to do this side. Um, we're waiting for lintels on the other side, they've not come. Um, but we're, we're trying to get the roofers working, so if I can get this done, Russell's going to put the uh, soffit and fascia up the verge there, that side and then they can do the soffit and face here when this is done and then the roofers have got all of this side this is all lead these are these dormers so I've plenty of work for them and they just run it out to that end and then when I do that bit of cable they can finish it start from that end so that's the plan Monday it's not supposed to be raining uh, I've got to go to another job and get it up to damp and extension but it's more than a day's work so I, I don't know what we're going to do we're going to get there and I might try and just get the inside skin up for them so they can carefully uh, uh, get the oversight and this, that and in. So we'll see. Uh, right, I'm going to get on. Speak to you later. Oh, fuck you know. Muck's all stiff. No water up here. No one here. Gone down Juicens to get some wheat bowls. Oh, I reckon they've gone in the calf. Be a bricklayer, they said. You'll make loads of money. Go self-employed. You won't pay any tax. Yeah, get a little escort van, they said. You'll be able to do all your privates the weekend. Fucking, this is what you end up with doing this shit. Oh. Anyway, it's Friday. Seems like I'm always moaning, isn't it? because I am Have to go in. Yeah. Oh, you went to the butchers. So you eat raw meat now for breakfast. Yeah. What's he got there? What have you bought? Uh, some instant coffee and a instant tea. Want some? I'd love a cup of tea. Yeah. Babe. Can't see no wheat bowls. Oh, this lintel's moving. I ain't seen any. What, are they on the road? Where from? Jusons? Yeah, tomorrow. Oh. 
<laughs> I don't know if you can see this, the camera keeps hitting the rafters. That's probably all you can see. Uh, put one of them in. Supposed to be going fishing tomorrow on my mate's boat, but he's had a row with his old woman, so I think he's off. I ain't had a row, have I? I should be still be able to go, but I don't know. Oh, sort it out. We're on the, we're on location. I've got to keep the uh, the viewers occupied. That be yeah, stick them down there. Would you half itch them? Get in the butchers. I've got a, a ham roll. All right. Ham sandwich is lovely. And I brought a chicken soup. Nice. Where'd you get the? Where butchers you go? The one on the hill, King's Head. All right. Is that any good? Is it? Oh, it's excellent. And you used to go to school with my brother. All right. Well, my ex missus used to have a shop next to it. All right. So when I went in there, I found my. Uh, my uh, uh sister and uh, she went, you sure? Just don't know. 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 Just he owns about four or five flats up there, yeah. over the, the butchers, yeah. which is now uh, an undertaker's. All right. That was his original, and he's moved just down the road. He's getting all the rent, yeah. Oh, he don't live there, he's got houses in Spelstead. Yeah. He's done well for himself, the butcher. Um, I've got them online. Alright. Oh, yeah. Did you do it? They had a few pairs in TK Maxx the other day. Yeah, I think they sell them in there. Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. <sighs> Couldn't be more awkward, could it, eh? Ah, uh, bricks. Is he making tea? Good. <laughs> 